Jessica Ernst. I'll come back to you. Jessica Ernst, uh, thank you for talking to us tonight in, in Carrick. You have direct experience of this in your own uh, home patch, but just because if you say they got it wrong there, just because they got it wrong there doesn't mean they need to get it wrong in Carrick or indeed anywhere else in Ireland. No, that's true, although I, I think I've got quite an echo happening here. I'm, I don't know what that's about, but it doesn't sound like it's going wrong just in Alberta. There's many jurisdictions where hydraulic fracturing is going wrong. The um, technologies from the industry reports that I have read and the people I've spoken to, the technology is very new. The horizontal drilling, the multi-stage slick water fracking, the chemical-less fracking, the waterless fracking. They're, they're the, the United States Geological Survey has stated last summer they're still only beginning to learn. We're having frack outs in Alberta and British Columbia. The industry has told our regulators that in shallow and deep fracking, they don't know what their fracture propagations do. It's very serious. We just had a very important blowout that happened where a uh, worker was coming home one day and he saw fluids shooting out of an abandoned well. And he went in to phone the emergency response line at our best in the world regulator and they didn't answer the phone. He had to get a landowner group to help him. And what had happened, he had to run to find where the fracking crew was. They didn't even notice that they had lost their frack control and that it was shooting out into the air. And they were about 1,200 meters away. He had to go get them to shut down. Okay. And then they had to go clean up the mess. Well, it, there is was this, also another would this, frack would this, communication this, recently in Alberta where the subsurface difference was 475 meters. So it's very clear this is still an experiment Never mind just in my backyard, that's in my country. But is, could this, Jessica, be so down to, to poor... We have to, best in the so, world. Sorry, Jessica, just to cut across you. Could sorry? this be down to poor regulation or poor enforcement of regulation? Well, probably both, but we are, we are told that we have best in the world. And the, the industries say that they are allowed, the regulators let the companies regulate. And when they do their, um, if they do break the law, as in the case of my community and or all the regulations in place to groundwater, yes, it is a very important matter of not enforcing regulations. But by then it's too late. If the companies are ignoring the laws and regulations, what good will it do when it's too late? And can a fracture directly into our freshwater aquifers? All right. The damage is done. You can't Tony, repair a fractured aquifer. Tony, all right. We're, we're talking primarily. Oh, I think it's a different the, situation. The he would say, Tony, all right, says in, in Leitrim that the difference in uh, the gap between where you're drilling and the aquifer is huge and it's safe. Yes, that's right. But the frack out that just happened in Alberta was very deep. It was on a deep horizontal well. And even at 1,000 meters or 2,000 meters, if they have a frack out, at 500 meters subsurface difference, that's very scary. And we just found this out. Our regulator and the company that did this did not tell the public. With the comment about industry doing a very bad job with misinformation, I think what needs to be done is when all these incidents happen, they have to be immediately made public. Companies shouldn't be allowed to keep secret when they do these bad events. And I don't agree that in deep areas, water's not at risk. I toured the area where the frack license is for Tamboran, Tamboran and there's, that's a very right. wet area. Cement, how is it going right. to create a good seal, even deep down, with all the water there? Okay, Jessica, we're going to have to leave it there, I'm afraid. We've run out of time. Tony, all right. Thank you very much indeed, Tony, all right, and Jessica Ernst. Thank you both, Miriam.